Joe McKenzie here. Yes, I'm still here. I haven't been on camera for a long time. And some of that is because I don't like the way I look as I'm aging. And I think a lot of people feel that way. And I know you just have to get over it. Oh my God, get over yourself. So I think, I'm, I, as usual, it's a process. I'm over myself. But what I wanted to do is share sort of what's been happening around here. And what's been happening around here is that I am painting, but I'm not painting absolutely every day. I'm spending a lot more time uh, both reading and relax, relaxing on purpose and also trying to incorporate some play into my day because I would say for the last 10 years, it's been really serious. There's been a lot of serious business to be done and I think I've been taking life really seriously and I'm getting too old to take things seriously because, <laughs> because why? <laughs> you ask myself, why? And so, as usual, my work is sort of reflective of that. First of all, what's happening is, and I'm going to attach the video that I'm going to talk about right after this. It's going to go by really fast. It's 20 times as fast as I usually paint. And that's because I'm enjoying painting things that don't make any sense. I kind of am in this place where I want to play and where I want to paint because I enjoy painting, but I don't want to take it seriously. I mean, I want to take it seriously when I'm doing it, but I, and I, but I don't, I don't want to say don't care about the outcome, but the outcome is really secondary to me. What I am finding is that I'm a braver painter because I will take things as far as what I think of step one, step two, step three, and then I'm finding that I'm coming in and doing a step four. I'm going deeper. And what I mean is usually going darker and darker and with bolder shapes because that is just where I want to be right now. Because you know, what are the stakes? <laughs> there are no stakes. So I thought, well, just, just do what pleases you. So that's what I'm doing. And the video that's going to follow is kind of where I'm going, like I said, in terms of context of what I want to paint. If something grabs my attention, I'm definitely going to paint it. If there's something that I just love and I go, oh my gosh, I just want to do that. But as usual, in life, you know, especially the, the life of an artist, you end up doing a series. And so I am doing kind of this series of things that don't make sense. It don't make sense at all. And that's what the next video is. It's going to be, I would call it uh, peaches, lollipops, and dogs. <laughs> I like peaches, lollipops, and dogs, and they all seem to go together. And one of the things that I tend to do while I'm doing these paintings is listening to David Byrne, especially his um, from the Talking Heads and from Stop Making Sense. And uh, I just find somehow for wherever I am in life right now, everything that doesn't make sense seems to make sense to me. So that's the status of where we are right now. Let me know how your painting is going. I hope you've kept your paints wet. These have been challenging times, but uh, it's best if we can do that. So here comes the video that doesn't make any sense. And please join my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. So here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I took this photograph and I thought it won't make a good painting and that was why I wanted to do it. I liked it just like it went, went where it's right here. It's a really nice abstract painting. And then I thought, okay, but you know, after a while you're going to look at it and, and decide that you wish you'd gone further. And I put it, if I put it aside for any length of time, then I'll completely lose interest. So I thought, finish it and then move on. So that's what I decided to do. I'm I like to work from uh, darks to lights if possible. And as you can see from the photograph, there are way more darks than there are lights. There are almost no whites at all, actually, because the sun wasn't hitting this object. It's just the ambient light. There actually is no white in the painting. So even, even that, even my whites aren't white. So what I did was I just am interested in these abstract shapes. First of all, I'm, like I said, I'm interested in taking things that don't make any sense and putting them together, even though in a way they tell a story. I feel like the objects are talking to each other. The red peach is talking to the red lollipop and the dog is talking to the dog, but really it makes no sense at all. Now I'm coming back in. This is probably the third time that I've approached the painting. And each time I approach a painting, it's for a shorter time, but this deci the decisions that I have to make become more difficult and I'm making those adjustments and going, going, as, going as dark as I possibly can because that was what interested me. Look at that dark shape on the left of the photograph. I find that fascinating. And so I decided to take it as far as it can go. 
And so that was really fun for me. So like I said, I don't know that my paintings are making any sense, but I seem to be enjoying doing them, and I certainly enjoy the music that I'm listening to while I'm doing them, and it's keeping me out of any trouble. So remember, keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, mixture color, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and let me know how your painting is going. Okay, bye-bye.